In September 2019, eight Ellis Brigham team members from stores across the UK took on the challenge of summiting Mont Blanc, whilst testing out the new Future Light collection from the North Face. Future Light is a revolutionary breathable waterproof outerwear technology. What sets Future Light apart from other competitor technologies is enhanced breathability, innovative waterproofing, superior softness, proven durability, all sustainably driven. The first day consisted of arriving in picturesque Chamonix, having a briefing on the week ahead from the Jagged Globe team and getting our first hands-on experience with the new Future Light gear from the North Face. We then headed to the local crag to brush up on our belaying and rappelling skills, as well as getting a feel for climbing in B3s. All skills we would certainly make use of over the coming days in the mountains. Day 2. After waking up to glorious sunshine, the day began by heading through the Mont Blanc tunnel to gain some altitude by taking advantage of the Skyway Monte Bianco. Having dropped some overnight gear at the Torino hut, we then kitted up in future light for the first time and headed out on the glacier to practice some roped up glacier travel. As the sun blazed down upon us, it was quickly apparent how well the Future Light L5 jacket wicked moisture away from the skin. Given the high temperatures, it was impressive to see that not one of the team felt the need to remove the outer layer during the day. Day 3. After being treated to a stunning pastel sunrise silhouetting the Italian Alps, we had a quick breakfast before setting out. Today's challenge was taking on the knife-edged Egole d'Entrèves, an exposed traverse and one of the best granite ridge crests in the range. This really put the Future Light collection through its paces, brushing up against the rough granite, highlighting its exceptional durability. Day 4, the final day of acclimatisation on the Mont Blanc Massif. The team set off from the Torino hut across the glacier, aiming for the Igole du Midi, whilst avoiding the many crevasses along the way. After a third day on the hill wearing future light, it was clear that the freedom of movement and softness of the outerwear was unlike any other hard shell we'd ever used before. Returning to Chamonix gave the team the chance to freshen up Day 5, final gear preparation. A quick trip up on the cable car, then onto the tramway du Mont Blanc up to the Nidegle, the Eagle's Nest, at 2,372 metres, before hiking up to the Tete Russe hut at 3,167 metres. From there, we were treated to yet another stunning sunset and contemplated tomorrow's challenge. Our week of training and previous months of preparations had come down to this moment. Day 6, an early start to ensure a safe crossing of the Grand Couloir, a notorious rockfall hotspot, where we then scrambled our way up to the futuristic looking Guta Hut. After a quick gear drop, we then proceeded to make our way up the seemingly never ending Dome du Couteur. From here, the team trekked up the narrow Bosses Ridge and the final stretch to the summit of Mont Blanc at 4,808 metres, where we experienced a huge sense of achievement, feelings of elation and breathtaking views. Well done. Well done. Well done.